So in this bonus episode, I'm trying to answer the question of where are all these dots coming from? So when I do cons, say I do cons of one and two, typically the second argument is a list, but here it's not a list. What I get is exactly what I should expect in terms of a diagram. The first argument to cons is the first of a pair, and the second argument to cons is the rest of a pair. How Racket represents that is using this dot notation to represent a pair. So you can think of pairs created with cons as first dot rest. Ultimately, that's what's happening inside of Racket, but it sometimes prints it a little prettier than that. So when I do cons of one in the empty list, this is what we're used to seeing. So here it's going to pull out the parentheses and put the one in as the first element in that list, in that which is the second argument. So what I get is the list one, and I have a picture here on the right of what that looks like. Really what happens is just like with when I called cons one and two. So actually what I have is the thing before the dot is a one, and the thing after the dot is the empty list. So this bottom line is actually what's represented in Racket. But to make it pretty, when Racket sees a dot followed immediately by a parenthesis, it removes the dot and the parentheses associated with it. So here I'm going to remove the dot in the first parenthesis and the second parenthesis, and what I get is just the list one. So this is just a printing rule. It doesn't have anything to do with how Racket actually represents the data. So here's that same example. It doesn't actually print this, but this is showing the steps of cons of one and the empty list. So now if I start doing multiple cons, because this is pretty common, this is what list does, is it cons and cons and cons and cons stuff together. So we have here the picture of what that looks like, and here's it written with the dots. This isn't what Racket prints, but this is how Racket represents it, as pairs. So each of the dots shows a pair that we have. So here we have two dots and we have two pairs. What we can do is, again, we use the same rule. Anytime we have a dot immediately followed by an open parenthesis, we remove those. So I remove this one and its corresponding parenthesis, and I remove this one and its corresponding parenthesis, and I get just the list one, two. So second, when the second argument is not a list, you'll see dots. And dots are really what's happening behind the scenes, but they get removed whenever we have a dot and then an open parenthesis, just so that it's prettier to look at.